Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross update video. And when you see updates, it means it's time for a whole brand new month. So in the month of July, which is technically the eve of Uta Macross anniversary, yes, the game is gonna turn four years old next month. So are you guys ready to toss your physical cash for Dana? <laughs> To give us what we want because the eve usually spells the beginning of bad news for all our wallets well technically for those of us who are able to purchase in-game currency for this game uh, like myself <laughs> so anyways guys let's dive into the news of july and see what dana has installed for us unless technically well I'm sure most of you who've already seen the pictures will probably know what's coming but I'm gonna break it down in detail for you guys especially for those of you who can't read Japanese text Alright, so let's move down the screen As you can tell straight away you see a very familiar banner and usually when this banner comes around it means yeah, it's just there to leech your cash. <laughs> so yes, Uta Macross 4th Anniversary Nyan Nyan Matsuri and it's gonna start um, on the 17th of July. So basically, oh wait, no, it's yeah, it's the 17th of July. Um, so it's the first half of the Matsuri and it's gonna last all the way to the 3rd of August hmm okay so from 3rd of August I think that's when they will implement the actual anniversary celebrations um, because August is the launch date or the launch month for time across so first half or rather we call it the Eve celebrations um, so yeah and usually, when it comes to Nyan Nyan Matsuri, it means there's a Kuji box. And usually within the Kuji box, there is an exclusive plate. <laughs> so we sadly don't get to see the um, Nyan Kuji plate. I think this is the one. This should be the one. It says here, Nyan Kuji. So, Tokubetsu na Preto. So, which is the special plate. So, they did show us here the pre-evolved image of the exclusive anniversary plate. So, uh, this month, they are focusing, or rather this year, they are focusing on cheering, you know. So, that's why you have Min Mei and Cheryl in cheerleader outfits. And of course, Basara in the Japanese Owen Dan um, costume. You know, usually the male cheerleaders in Japan will have this. I'm sure those of you guys who are music game lovers will have probably played the NDS game Owen Dunn as well. <laughs> I, I know there was an English game of it. I can't remember the, the English title though. So if you guys remember, let me know in the comments down below. I, I do have the game in English as well, but it's just that it's been years not played it I cannot remember the English title for that game <laughs> so yeah all right so Nyan Kuji basically all the information here is just talking about you know the and the special episode plate that you can get and of course if you um, you know improve it so they have the rare rarity up um, text here and if you improve it more members will appear in the illustration so aside from the three uh, divas or rather the two divas and basara that you see here there's gonna be more people appearing in the illustration hopefully all 10 characters in Uta Macross will appear in the illustration uh, and of course um, as usual Usually the anniversary episode plate can be used by every single diva, including Basara. Um, so it's always great to try and at least attain a single copy out of it. Um, they did say that you know within the missions you should be able to attain more. I think usually the case is Kuji tickets. So you use the Kuji tickets to try your luck to try 
and attain this exclusive plate as usual but you know um, there's always the other way you can get more Kuji tickets and that is by buying the singing stone packs and usually when there's a Matsuri there is two rounds of discounted singing stone packs with the Nyan Kuji tickets attached to them we are familiar with it by now especially for those of you who are still playing the game with me um, for four years now <laughs> and two rounds is a hefty amount so normally my usual trend of recommending you know purchasing the packs is always go for the 10,000 yen pack and that's not cheap usually it amounts to you know basically 100 US dollars in my own currency that's almost about 132 Singapore dollars so that's a hefty amount uh, and you have to buy it twice if you want to fully enjoy this uh, Matsuri period you know and pulling every single thing out from the Nyankuji box that is useful like um, episode plate resources uh, of course the exclusive plate and you know whatever wonderful stuff they added into the Kuji box this year as well so uh, that's a lot of money I don't know I'm not too sure if I really want to invest too much this time around but there is something further down the page that is tempting me very badly <laughs> okay before we go down <laughs> let's talk about this and usually when you see this kanji it means the return of free 10 plate pools and yes like this Japanese kanji text here same as the Matsuri information it is the Eve Yes, this is just the first half of the 10 free episode play pools. So, okay, what does all this Japanese text mean basically? Um, from the start of the 17th of July, which is the first day of the 10 play, uh, 10 free episode play pools, um, you'll be drawing episode plates that have appeared from the first three years of Uta and Macross. That means not episode plates from the current fourth um, year. So there are, that means basically all the seven star episode plates without the special notes because it was only 2021, at the start of 2021 in fact, that Ranka and Cheryl's seven star episode plates with the special note attachments were introduced so the older seven star plates with no special notes are what you're trying to attain uh, well technically there are other episode plates that are six stars that are technically pretty good as well with special note attachments so it's gonna be a whole long list of episode plates from this template gacha lineup so just cross your fingers and hope to get something wonderful don't don't be too fussy it's free after all <laughs> all right moving along here is where the real poison begins oh goodness gracious me so okay yeah you saw the picture Minmei popped up a bit so yeah Minmei is one of the seven star episode plays yes you heard me right I said one of because this month we're getting two. Oh boy. <laughs> Just when I thought Dana has relaxed, you know, to let our wallets rest a bit, but you know, I forgot, you know, it's the eve of the anniversary. Uh, they are out to kill our wallets. Uh, so, why not a better time to toss in another gacha that features 7 star episode plate? Uh, well, you know, tossing out the discounted Nyan, Nyan Nyan Matsuri Kuji ticket episode play specials. Uh, I mean, um, singing stone packs. Uh, God. <laughs> so, I'm sure all you Macross fans out there will probably recognize the costumes for Minmei and Basara because these costumes aren't actually new. Uh, as mentioned here in the text, 
Min Mei's costume is from the Macross Crossover Live AD 2009 x or rather X45, or rather it's called Cross 59. <laughs> so I will show you the image of the Crossover Live banner here. Um, I'm sure some of you Macross fans from long ago would have probably recognized this. And you've probably recognized Rankas and Cheryl's costume because they have already appeared in game for all time across. So yes, Min Mei is finally getting hers in the form of a 7 star gacha wall. <laughs> so Min Mei fans, I feel sorry for you. This is definitely one of Min Mei's nicest um, collection of clothes and it's locked behind a 7 star episode plate that's kind of a bu bummer. Uh, and for Basara, yes, Basara is the same as Minmei. It's an old costume from the Macross Fire Bomber 7 Ore no Utawo Kike. <laughs> yeah, it's the key visual art for Basara on that live concert. Um, and of course, once again, I'm putting an image here. I'm sure you guys will probably recognize it. But the thing is, Basara's costume isn't exactly that special. It looks too too similar to his usual uh, Macross 7 costume, his default one. Just that it's, you know, lacking a bit more red. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm liking the illustration styles of these 7 star plates. It's, it's like a flashback image of the diva and Basara's memories from all the illustrations of episode plates that we've seen in Old Time Across so far. Very very nice illustration and hope I'm hoping to see more for you know the rest of the eight divas remaining in the game. Hopefully they will get it. And of course we have to pray that these seven star episode plays do come with special notes attachment. You know, ever since you know seven star episode plates have got special notes attached to them, there have been a few that have been lacking that, you know, favoritism. <laughs> uh, and they've really kind of made those episode plates a bit, you know, not so worthy for money. Ah, uh, anyways, moving along. So we have the event lineup here, and of course, the first event of the month, uh, Duet Runner. So with that said, you know Min Mei is the featured first diva um, for the event, and of course, the song is uh, her song, Runner. So the song, however, is is um, let me see. It says somewhere here, right? Um, yeah, does it say, oh, so yeah, it's just the duet version of Runner, I, I, I kind of expected it to be like some kind of a mirror or another version, but you know, so it's a duet version, uh, apparently it's such a thing. <laughs> I don't recall listening to a duet version of Runner, hmm, if, if, there is such a song version that exists, let me know which soundtrack it belongs to because I definitely have not come across it. Maybe I might have missed out on a rare soundtrack, but who knows. Anyways, then of course the second event of the month, um, so it's uh, Natsu no Nanairo. Oh, Nanairo? Seven colors? <laughs> Vitamin Chaji. Okay, so it's oh, it's gonna belong to Ranka. <laughs> okay, so yes, my two green waifus in the Macross universe are getting summer swimsuit costumes. Uh, this is the poison for me, right here, right in front of me. Oh god, when I saw this, I was like. No, <laughs> my poor wallet. Uh, and of course, as usual, I have to say, Ranka's costume is a new. Ranka's costume was first featured on the Macross uh, Frontier Blu-ray special box cover. 
um, which also featured Cheryl's swimsuit of the similar design. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with it um, now. But for Reina though, this is a brand new costume design. Ray Ray has never worn something like this before. So this is a, it's an exclusive Uthar Macross costume design for Ray Ray and her summer collection. It's very boyish and yet <laughs> and yet very sexy. <laughs> you don't see Ray Ray in this kind of mood very often and I'm loving it. <laughs> so yes, McDonald's don't sue me. <laughs> oh god. So yes, Ranka is likely the first gacha um for the second event of the month. Then of course Ray Ray is gonna be for the Red Boss event. As you can tell from the title here. Um, so yeah. Then of course, for the Red Boss event, we are getting Min Mei and Maki Maki swimsuit collaboration exclusive plate for the Red Boss event. Ah. <laughs> oh god. I mean, this is definitely one of Min Mei's nicer swimsuits. And of course, Maki Maki's fashionable Macross floral design swimsuit which was a very big thing when it was first released and it still is a very big thing you guys get what i mean but still <laughs> okay moving along so the last event of the month will feature cheryl and mikumo um i don't know is cheryl wearing a swimsuit i don't think it is but the design is kind of similar to Ray Ray in terms of the um I guess the lingerie strap, maybe. I don't know, it looks kind of like it. Mikumo is definitely looking like she's wearing a swimsuit, but it is kind of like a crossbreed between a lingerie, um, considering it's a bit lacy. Um, but this is the first time I've seen Mikumo looking rather slender. Um, I mean, Mikumo has always been known to be a busty three year old, but she doesn't seem to be that um, solid or well filled up. I don't, no, 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 no. That's the wrong term. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but I'm sure you know what I mean. Her, her thighs are lacking volume. Hmm. <laughs> Mikumo fans, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to put it in the wrong light but uh, you know the, the illustration seems to be lacking in something but still the design is pretty okay in my perspective um so yeah so that's pretty much the lineup of costumes and episode plates so far then of course we have the other news then there we have the banner so it's the natsu no nana iro um, vitamin charge event um, so you can probably tell which song it's gonna be <laughs> okay so then there is the extra banner here which is Reina's birthday step up gacha so if you guys have followed me on um, the Facebook page you probably have seen me talk about voting for Reina's um, birthday featured episode plate and of course the feature plate is here which is for this particular costume so if you guys are lacking it which I am actually that's the main reason why I voted for it because it's one of those costumes that I'm missing for really uh, I mean the episode plate is okay it's just that the costume is pretty hard to come by so yeah I went with most wanted costume design rather than um, the most effective episode plate. But, you know, they decided to toss in, you know, the wonderful birthday exclusive episode plates as well. And of course, Ray Ray's 7 star episode plates that you can attain from the gacha. So if you guys are missing costumes from Reina's collection, or if you are big Ray Ray fans, make sure you... Um, save up your singing stones which I'm sure you're gonna have a buttload of if you're gonna buy like two packs of 10,000 yen which I'm trying to prevent myself from doing 
<laughs> oh god, I, I really need to cut back. <laughs> but yeah, Ray Ray's birthday gacha is coming on the 22nd of July um, at 12 noon. So it's not midnight, but noon. And yeah, so as usual, they are definitely trying to ask you to pull all the way to step 7 because the 6 star appearance rate is gonna be a lot better. Um, you know, considering that it's 3% here compared to step 7, which is a 0.9%. You know, step 5 and step 6 is like the most important. Step 7 is kind of like a consolidation pool. <laughs> but you know, I will, if if it was me, I will just pull to step six and that's it. You know, be it a horrible or good pull. You know, that's it because it's just too expensive. Anyways, that's it for all the inform information <laughs> for this month. Um, one other thing before I leave you guys, um, I did put up a latest tutorial video regarding my recommended list of. Valkyrie teams for VOP. Uh, hopefully you guys have checked it out and let me know your thoughts on the Valkyrie setups that I've um, recommended or shared with you guys. Has it been useful? Let me know in the comment section on this video or that video and of course leave a like on that video if you watched it you know to let me know that you guys appreciate the content that I'm still providing. You know it's it's really a very big factor on any YouTuber out there, you know, because it really lets them think uh, and consider on future contents to be provided, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys are excited for summer. That's why we are stepping into swimsuit ter territory after all the bridal gowns. Wow, talk about a way to celebrate your honeymoon if you get if you got married in June. When you go honeymoon in July, strip down to your bathing suits and party all day. No, did I phrase that wrongly? That turned out wrong, didn't it? <laughs> anyway guys, do the usual stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. What have I been talking throughout this whole video? It's just exhaustion from work. Guys, forgive me. <laughs> I hope you to forgive me. Forgive, go, forgives me. I'm stuttering. Ah, bye. <laughs>